Hi, Aries. This is the Aries Tarot Scope for July 2020. Getting the information and energy of July 2020 for Aries. And this is for your sun, moon, and rising in Aries. What's going on? I'm calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. Aries, you've got some jumpers already. Okay. I'm calling in our angels and guides, the highest vibrations of love and light. Asking them to come in and give us messages for our, our greatest and most benevolent outcomes for Aries. What is going on, Aries, July 2020? first thing I'm seeing Aries is a wave of slowing it down. A wave of slowing it down. Your, your higher self is talking about overcoming some anxiety or the need to overcome some anxiety and also the need to reach back into yourself. Remember a part of yourself that seemingly has been lost, but hasn't really been lost. It's like more so on the back burner. So slowing it down, recuperating from some anxiety and going back, going within and reclaiming yourself, finding yourself, becoming strong in yourself again, remembering some time when you felt very aligned and very peaceful, Aries. So releasing the idea that this is something that you can't achieve or can't have, and I'm even hearing can't uh, have that functions for you, you can have this. There is this, this huge message, though, to slow everything down, slow it down. I have resistance to looking at things from a different perspective. I have resistance to looking at old strategies and old plans and old stories in a new way. So there is something here about that. There are a lot of eights here. Eights are talking about some kind of hard work and it kind of feels like hard work having to do with emotional stress and emotional understanding, um, needing to understand self. There's something Aries having to do with someone who has their head in the sand. This is either you or someone that you are dealing with that you're having a hard time dealing with because their head is in the sand. Could very well be you too. There's also this sense, though, of I'm not grounded because I'm not dealing with everything that is around me. Um, I'm not dealing with the things that I need to deal with in order to see clearly. The two cards that jumped out for you earlier are coming from this place of having to make boundaries with a group. This is a group of people who you have been working with. This can be a family I feel like it could be a client group, a family group, a group of friends who are like family. It could be a work group, but this is having to make boundaries with that work group. Like at one time, this was a good deal. <laughs> this was a good thing to be in collaboration with them. But now there's, there's really something about going off on your own, going off on your own, figuring some things out. And I'm hearing retreat. You need a break, you need a retreat, and it's not just a vacation. This is about time by yourself, Aries. This is about looking at some responsibilities that you've taken on that I think that you very much wanted to take on, but now things have shif shifted, things have evolved, and you're recognizing at one time this could have been my highest and greatest good, but right now it's not. It's not my highest and greatest good. And I am emotionally ready to move forward and move on from these challenges. They've become burdens. And the reason they've become burdens is just simply because I'm no longer aligned with them. I very well could have been aligned with them at one time and I'm not now. It's almost like I can hear you saying, Aries, I've lost my way or there's some aspect of a project or endeavor. It's like I've lost my way, but it's not that you've lost your way. It's that you've evolved or grown past it or grown in a different direction. And it's just time to move on. Singularly, I'm hearing. So there's this head in the sand aspect or things are just not moving the, 
the endeavor is not moving forward the way that you want it to, the way that you were expecting it to move forward or everyone else has a different idea about it. But this is about you slowing down and saying, I can't control this and I need some singularity. I need some time on my own. I'm not feeling completely inwardly grounded. I'm not completely grounded to this endeavor and I need to move on from it. I need to take on new responsibilities is what I'm hearing too, but something different, something totally different. It's like, I need to follow my heart path, my truth path. I want to take on responsibilities to help this connection with the planet, with the universe even, but I need to get some recall is what I'm hearing, but I also, I need to get some messages or I need to listen to my higher self about this. And I'm not hearing the clear messages because somebody's head is in the sand. Somebody's not dealing with something. And your advice is to, I'm hearing cut your losses. Cut your losses, Aries. I wanna look at your trajectory a little bit more. Right, again with the losses, this feels a bit like defeat, but again, I don't feel like it has to feel like defeat, but somehow it's like, I'm not hearing what I need to hear as fast as I need to hear it, and I feel depleted, and I feel a little left out. I feel a little left out. I feel like people aren't responding to my good ideas or my great sense of moving things forward and my great sense of intuition and passion about how to do these things. It's like you're feeling like you're not being appreciated for your, your skills and your natural gifts. What's this that wanted to jump out, right? And you need to focus and get back on grounding yourself and grounding yourself, doing that, how you ground yourself is working on that literally physically rather than esoterically. So it's like, eat good food, rest, drink water. It's like, this is the, the sabbatical that you need to listen to yourself again, to hear yourself talking again to you. It doesn't look like it has to be for a long time or forever. It just looks like there's definitely a calling somewhere else. And it's like, you're reaching out to hear it. Okay, Aries. I'm pulling from, what is this, Earth Magic deck. I'm pulling some advice for you, Earth Magic deck. What's going on with advice for July 2020? Huh. Release. This is also the autumnal equinox. So for me, this feels a lot like a timing card. So there's some kind of shift or change in the autumn. Release release this past stuff, release this endeavor, and release your, um, your responsibility to it. You can shift your responsibility to something else that's still connected with your heart, but this is, this is different. I pulled one more, the new moon, promise. At the next new moon, this seems like another timing card too. Aries, there's a promise here. And I feel like this could be a promise to yourself. This could be keeping a promise to yourself. Is there anything else that wants to come up for Aries in July? Your higher self, I'm asking. <laughs> Literally hang in there. You got the hanged man. This is about seeing things differently from a different perspective and it's also universally induced. So it's not necessarily like, okay, I've decided to take a vacation. It's like the universe says, okay, I've decided that you're gonna take a vacation. So there's some aspect of this being the right timing and divine timing to do that. Okay, Aries, thank you so much. Have a wonderful July. Keep me posted, give me some comments in the boxes below and let me know if this resonates for you or check your sun moon and your rising sign and let me know thanks fairies <laughs>